Hey everyone, welcome back to another Counterside video. So today we will be discussing the top 10 future-proof Rangers in Counterside. But before that, if you wanted updated Counterside videos, please hit the subscribe button down below. All right, guys. So a lot of you have been asking me who can I or who can you level up without worrying about future use. So more or less, this list is about the top 10 um soldiers before we proceed to the top 10 i'll have to mention the honorable mentions um there are two in this list so namely we have seo yun so seo yun is actually good going to be good in future um pve um matches or battles and she is actually she cracks she might crack um the top 10 in some lists and also we have um sparrow which is actually a good ranger for your mech teams and also barely cracks the list for our top 10. So as we start our top 10, we have here, um, this list is actually not a ranking list. This is just sorted out um, according to um, alphabetical order. We will start with your assault trooper. So your assault trooper is actually a very good early game um, early game deployment, anywhere deployment unit that that you can still use in the end game. Um, it's still being used in the Korean server, and more or less, he um, your assault trooper is actually very vital in rush games, in in more or less in rush components. So assault trooper uh, troop uh, skill info, nothing much. So just basic attack, and you have a passive skill which is parachutes into wherever help is needed. So can deploy anywhere regardless of enemy boss or ship's HP. Again, for the cost of the assault trooper, which is two, it is actually a very good uh, unit to have. You, ha They are supplementary range unit that you can deploy anywhere. And it's, it attacks all around attack, which can they can attack air and ground units for your enemies. So Eddie Fisher is actually future proof as well. Um, he belongs to a soldier type and he is actually a buffer soldier and counter. So you can put him in your soldier slash uh, plus counter teams and you can actually um, he can actually be very good in PvP and PvE. He is actually obtainable in the Orca side story 3-2. So let's take a look at his stats. So for Eddie Fisher, you have a basic skill, basic attack. So fires a rifle, valid hits plus one. So it's an AOE. So passive skill has a commanding presence wherever he is. Increases surrounding soldiers attack by 10%. So the rest increases his attack. And buff also decreases soldiers damage taken by 10 at level 5. For his special skill, so high performance grenade throws a grenade inflicting AOE damage on and around the foremost target. So 2 to 4 levels is damage maximum of 25%. Then valid hits also additional of 1. So this total of 4 valid hits. Also another passive skill for him because he's a soldier. After a certain battle, he learned to work in harmony with counters. So decreases surrounding counters damage also by 10%. It increases his HP and buff increases to counters attack by 10% as well. Again, he's a very good buffer for soldier plus counter teams. So, so again, for Eddie Fisher, for his cost of two, he's a very good all-around uh, ranger. And his attack is all around as well. So he could attack air and ground units. Okay, next would be one of the stars of this list, which is uh, Elizabeth Pendragon. So she's an SSR ranger and she is she can actually be uh, an all around attacker um, hitting air and ground units. So more or less, she is a counter. She is a crowd control unit and also she can be deployed anywhere in the battlefield. Um, and when once she is deployed, she deals damage right away. Okay, she is actually good in PvP and PvE modes, and she can be attained in the banner. Actually, she has a banner right now where you can attain her, and she could also be attained in the selector ticket for her or for SSRs. Let's take a look at her um, skills. 
So in terms of our skills, she has a basic attack, so valid hits plus uh, one. So throw several daggers at a target. So passive skill is knife balare. Valid hits is two. Creates and throws knives to keep enemies at bay. Inflicts AOE damage on her opponent's spot and then moves back. This ability is actually very, very good in taking out um, snipers and taking out enemy rangers, which are squishy, of course. And this level, uh, once you level the skill up, level three, 2, 3, and 4, she gets a plus 12% in terms of attack. And level 5... Passive attack damage plus 50%, which is actually very, very good. Her special skill is nobly throw, um, 22 second cooldown. Valid hits is also 3, which is an AoE. So repeatedly throws knives, inflicting AoE damage. This skill only affects as many targets as its valid hits and decreases damage taken by 50% for its duration. So this skill, the range of this one, this skill is actually very, very far. And she reaches a lot of enemies in the back row. Uh, level 2, 3, and 4 damage plus 25% maximum. And at level 5, valid hits increases at plus 1. Damage taken is 80% for skill duration. I'm uh, sorry, minus 80% for skill duration instead. So again, a very big damage reduction for this special skill. Next would be her ultimate skill. So Fallen Noble's Lofty Sword. Cooldown is 48 seconds. Valid hits is 3. Materializes her family's heirloom sword and nearby target, inflicting AoE damage stuns and targets for 5 seconds. So, levels 2, 3, and 4. Again, it's a plus 25% damage. And level 5, skill always inflicts critical damage, which is pretty much very, very good. Okay, so again, so this is, this is what we have for Elizabeth. She is actually available right now in the banner. So I suggest you get her. She is very future-proof and she is current-proof as well. And to boot, she has a very, very good uh, skin that I actually got. So again, go get Elizabeth Pendragon in her banner right now. Okay, next on our list would be Gayun or Gayun. So she has a deployment cost of 3 so she's a ranger all around attack as well so able to hit air and ground units and Gayon is actually a counter um she is very good at crown control and she is a debuffer as well she is good both in pvp and pve content she is actually for me probably the queen of all rangers crazy crazy skill um very good effects on her skill and she can only be obtained in her banner, which actually happened a couple of weeks or probably a month already. Actually, she was available during she was available during the game launch for Southeast Asia server. So let's take a look at her stats and her skills. So for her skills, basic attack, valid hits one, fires a pistol at the foremost target. So again, levels 2 to 5, um, increase of basic attack damage of maximum 20%. Passive skill is quarter note, valid hits is 2. This one is an AoE. After every third basic attack, she delivers an enhanced attack, inflicting AoE damage on and around her target. Also decreases the, the target's attack speed by 10% or for turns. So again, very good debuff. Um, levels 2, 3, and 4, critical is increased by maximum of 25% and level 5 is attack speed minus 20% instead for your enemies when you reach level 5. The next would be a special skill so double flat. Um, cooldown is 20, 23 seconds. Valid hits is 3. Dodges backward and fires an energy bomb inflicting AoE damage on and around the foremost target. Stuns targets for 1 second. Actually this is my one of my one of the most favorite skills that I've seen in in terms of being able to afflict damage and being able to stun. So this skill levels two, three, and four damage maximum of twenty five percent, and level five stun duration is a plus one second, so a total of two seconds. Next is her ultimate skill, so Pratissimo. 
Um, 45 seconds cooldown, valid hits is 3, so AoE fires projectile that quickly hits multiple enemies several times, inflicting AoE damage. So level 2, 3 and 4 is maximum of plus 25%, and level 5 is passive, decreases ultimately skill cooldown by 2 seconds, so skill cooldown goes down to 42 seconds. So again, for Gaeon, watch out for her banner. Once she's going to be, you know, her banner comes out again, she is really a good investment for you guys. Very good in terms of now, in terms of being future-proof. You will enjoy using her in your teams. And again, I'm sorry, she frequently gets banned, but when she gets unbanned, she will really, really be good for your team. She is even good um, to use at even ban one at four deployment cost, but again, try to get her as you know as early as you can if you have the chance for her banners okay next is john mason so he is actually a soldier um ranger all around attack as well so air and ground units again very future proof um he is actually um with crowd control debuffer as well and also a summoner and he is good with pvp and pv contents and he can be obtained in the John Mason side story 4-3. Okay, let's take a look at his skills. So for his uh, basic skill, basic attack, you have here valid hits 1, fires all his guns at the target in front. So basic damage go goes all the way up from level 2 to 5 to 20%. Passive skill is anti-CO drone. Ian Jr. So uses a drone he built himself to take the upper hand in battle. This drone summons a CO or a corrupted, corrupted thing that can't be healed once per battle. Um, after 35 seconds from its creation, so level two to four, so plus HP of 20%. Um, level five is 28 seconds duration before summoning CO. Okay, special skill tracking EMP grenade. So 20 seconds cooldown, valid hits is 2, AoE as well. Throws a portable EMP he built himself, inflicting AoE damage on and around the target. Seals the damage target skills for 8 seconds. That's a silence for you guys. So they won't be able to play their special skill and their, I think, their ultimate skill. Level 2, 3, and 4 is a damage maximum of plus 25%. Uh, level 5 cooldown, minus 4 seconds, so this becomes a 16 second uh, uh, cooldown. Also cancels barriers as well. So again, very good debuff. And his other passive skill is efficiently modifies the operating system of armored forces, increases all mech's attacks by 10%. So you can actually bring him together with mech teams as well. Level 2, 3, 4 is all mech's attack. Plus 2, 2, and 4, so total of 8%. Level 5, all mechs, defensive penetration, plus 10% added to passive buff. So again, um, John Mason, very obtainable in the game. Um, just have to farm his shards. Um, if you might get lucky, you would be able to get a drop and get him outright. But again, he is available in his own side story. Okay, next would be Jushiun. So Jushiun is a ranger. Um, only being able to attack a, a ground targets because he is actually using a sword. So again, Jushiun for the three cost is actually a very good, very good SR hero or unit. And more or less, he is a counter. He is also good for crowd control and he can be deployed anywhere in the battlefield as you need him. He is good for PvP and PvE. And he is actually obtainable when you start the game for counter side. He will be given to you for free. And let's take a look at his skills. So in terms of his skills, basic skill, basic attack. So valid hits two, dashes forward and backward a long distance, inflicting AOE damage. Basic attack um, increase level five, two to five, um, total of 20%. Passive skill is assesses the battle situation and secures a vantage point. Can be deployed anywhere regardless of any B boss or ship HP. So 2 to 5 damage taken is a minus total of 16%, which is actually good. His special attack is a counter attack. So 20 seconds valid hits 2. 
ignores damage from its stunning special skills and shoots a spirit sword inflicting AoE damage stuns the targets for 1.5 seconds. So if you can see here, uh, level 2, 3, and 4 cooldown for the skill is being reduced to 5. Then that level 5 is damaged. It, it has a plus 25%. Ultimate skill is Spatial Slash, 40 seconds cooldown. Valid hits is for so performs a slash and drops a building onto enemies inflicting. AoE damage stuns the targets for 5 seconds. Again, damage for the skill is increased to 20% from level 2 to level 4. And level 5 skill always inflicts crit damage. And this is actually very good as well. So, um, my thoughts on Jun, uh, Jushiun. Level him up. Um, even though he's an S uh, SR, he is actually going to help you with your, you know... He can actually attack from behind uh, what they call it. Even though he has a sword, he can attack from behind a defender and extend towards the attacker or sorry, towards the striker in front or somebody in front of your defender. Um, again, he is good. Very, very good. And he's very future proof. Okay, so we have here Kang So Yoon. So Police Wat 4. She's an SSR and she's a ranger all around attack as well air and ground units unfortunately i still don't have her at this point i think i need two more days to get her in her what they call this in her um side story so the um she can be obtained in swat 4 side story 3-4 that's her own side story and she can obtain can be obtained in the banner right now which is available for you guys but i would really if you're a free-to-play player i would suggest that you s just pull for her and the side story you might get lucky and you, you get her outright um but if you're in the hurry of getting her try to summon for her in her banner right now so let's take a look at her skills her skills actually she isn't um Sorry, Kang Soo Yoon is actually also a summoner because she summons a, I think, a stronghold. And she's a buffer as well. And she can be um, deployed anywhere in the battlefield as well. And she gives very big damage. Let's take a look at her skills. So basic attack values hits is one, fires a pistol at the target. Not to brag, you know, that not, not to, you know not to brag so much about this skill so level two three and four basic attack damage of plus 20 percent her passive skill um uh, where's the location value two hits driving a police car where she can be deployed anywhere on the battlefield so this is the one that gives um her value knocks enemies backward with aoe damage when deployed and summons a shield man at, at the same level on the spot where the car exploded so again this skill um, kills your snipers kills your squishy healers at the back um even you know even probably your squishy rangers level five level two three and four is an attack of plus 12 percent total level five explosion damage plus 15 percent summon stronghold instead of shield man so again um this is where she summons um a stronghold once you level up your level five passive skill is uses her experience to fight co as a nan non-counter commander decreasing surrounding soldiers damage taken by 15 percent increasing their attack by 15 which is actually a very good buff level two three and four increases um hp by um 20 percent and level five buff effects changes to soldier damage taken minus 20 percent and attack by 20 so again she gives that buff to soldiers which is actually very good she's not really valued for her damage but to the buffs the summon and the damage that she gives that she gives especially when she's summoned with that car going towards an enemy sniper next or last is her passive so uses a strategy developed to counter special crimes inflicts five percent or more damage on counters She's an anti-counter as well. Level 2, 3, and 4 damage to counters is going to be a total of plus 10. Level 5 is damage to counters. Another plus 5, which is a total of 15. And damage to sniper plus 30%, which I think you guys should consider when you level her up. Again, she's one of the best, best irritants in the game. And um, snipers and squishy people in the back really, really 
are at her mercy. Um, so she is one of the best soldier units to boot. And I suggest you guys get her because she is very future, uh, very future proof. Okay. The next would be Kyle Wong. So Kyle Wong is actually good for a three deployment ranger, all around attack as well in terms of air and ground. So he is actually a counter with uh, crowd control and also a summoner because he summons uh, a bulwark, two bulwarks to be exact, when you max him out. He is good in PvP and PvE and he can be summoned in the banner and also a selection ticket for um, SSRs. So let's take a look at his stats. So basic skill, one valid hit, fires a rifle, basic attack, total damage um, once you reach level 5 is plus 20%. Passive skill active expansion uses a weapon that becomes more powerful the longer it's used. Basic attacks cast a four, four second buff. When this buff stacks four times, it enhances basic attacks, increasing their damage on targets by 6% of their current HP. Uh, bosses and ships included. So the attack increases level 3 and 4, maximum of plus 12%. And level 5 is damaged by 8% of current HP instead. So again, it's good to give him additional HP so that um, the damage should also be increased. Special skill strategy bulwark summons a bulwark 4 meters in front of him that lasts for 8 seconds. Upon summoning, the bulwark stuns and damages targets for 2 seconds. This includes actually air units. Afterwards, it forces a nearby target to attack it at regular intervals. Levels 1, 2, 3, and 4. Targets units, so plus 3 in total. And 5 additionally summons a small bulwark 30 meters in front of, uh, in front for 4 seconds. Again, this is very annoying in terms of the skill. So you need to deal with these bulwarks before you have to move forward. Again, Kyle Wong, very good uh, now and also as a future proof for future um, events for counter side. Um, ultimate skill gravity gun 45 seconds cooldown valid hits is three overloads his special rifle inflicting aoe damage and on and around the foremost target so damage increases um, at around level four from two to four so damage plus 25 percent and the cooldown of the spell or the skill is decreased by 10 seconds so down to 35 seconds again kyle wong much um has been a favorite in terms of um, Southeast Asia launch and probably during the Korean server launch. He is actually very, very good. One of the favorites that I've been using when I started the game. He makes the game easier and he will be vital in other future events. So try to summon him in his banner if you can. He is very future proof. Okay, we have here the chair lady. So Rosaria Lefried. So she's a ranger, of course, all around attack. So attacks air and ground units. She is actually a four cost unit, which is actually good. And she is also she's also a range AOE DPS unit, which is pretty much ridiculous. Um, very good in terms of damage, very good DPS and AOE as well. And her range is also pretty ridiculous, so that she reaches a bit much of your of the enemy's backline. So she is good for PvP and PvE, and she can only be obtained in the banner. Let's take a look at her skills. So basic attack, valid hits, creates a small flame. Um, basic attack, uh, maximum percentage plus is going to be 20%. Passive skill, owner of the throne. So, of course, she's a chair lady. Permanently increased attack by 1.5% for each skill, up to 15%. And levels 2, 3, and 4, HP addition of plus 20%. Level 5 is immunity to all damage for 4 seconds upon deployment, which is actually very crucial. Special skill is destructive light, 20 second cooldown, valid hits is 3. Firing blazing beams at enemy in front. The causing hit stun and AoE damage. This skill is pretty much annoying as well. Once she gets deployed, um, level 2, 3, and 4 damage of plus 25 maximum. Level 5 is redeployment reset special skill cooldown. Also causes hit stun to targets in special skill mode. Okay. 
ultimate skill punishing edge 55 second cooldown valid hits is three rises from her throne and summons a fiery sword swinging it at once uh, inflicts aoe damage on enemies in front and levitates them damage is going to be a total buff of um, 25 percent and at level 5 ultimate skill cooldown minus 15 seconds when redeployed which is actually very good because i've seen her being redeployed and she deals a lot of damage once she uses her special or ultimate skill so again um rosaria is going to be fantastic now and for future events for um for her and she absolutely is future proof and more or less if you have a chance to get her again try to get her as soon as you can okay so the last on our list would be shinja shinja is a ranger all around attack as well air and ground units so shinja is a buffer and also good for crowd control good also for pvp and pve and she can be summoned in the banner also in the selector ticket and more or less let's take a look at her stats sorry <laughs> at her skills so basic attack valid hits uh basic attack is a plus 20 percent total at level five passive skill is uh, uses her excellent leadership to energize her allies increases attack speed by seven seven percent for her allies and for her so again she's a buffer so levels two three and four attack speed total increase uh, percentage should be seven percent so plus seven so that's 14 percent level five crit stats at plus 200 added to her passive skill which is pretty ridiculous special skill augmented reality 22 seconds valid hits is two using an augmented reality device summons up to two clones with with 70 percent of her hp in attack and inflicts aoe damage in front clone deliver enhanced attacks the equivalent of special skills every 12 seconds and can't be healed so again for for her cooldown um it's going to be decreased by four seconds for this special skill a level two three and four and level five is a permanent damage taken minus 10 percent when used so up to 30 percent and lastly her ultimate skill 45 second cooldown valid hits is three fires her company's proprietary counter bullets with their rifle knocking the foremost target and surrounding enemies backward with damage um damage uh, buff would be plus 25 percent from two three four levels and countdown for this uh, for this um, skill would be decreased by 10 percent once you have her at level five for her ultimate skill <laughs> so again don't miss out on shinja as well she is also future proof a lot haven't been using her because there are are better rangers than her but again she would be viable in future events or counter side so please do not sleep uh on her in terms of not getting her or leveling her up okay guys so more or less that ends this list for the top 10 soldiers oh sorry top 10 rangers that are future proof so again guys thank you for staying this long in this video i know this video took long because we need to discuss a lot of um, rangers in this list but again if you are still here please consider subscribing click the bell icon and also don't forget to put your comments down below on this list guys take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out here